spotted a turtle warming itself this morning on a log. It's nice to see, even though we think that they're, they're quite common. Uh, six out of the eight turtles species in Ontario are, are listed as threatened. Try to get in close to have a better look. But even though turtles are known for being slow, if I get too close, that turtle will just jump off the log and, and she'll be gone. Fortunately, painted turtles like this one aren't on the threatened species list. They're usually found in slower moving, weedy waters and seen basking in the sun on rocks or logs near the water's edge. we have something up ahead. Looks like there's an osprey perched on one of the tree stumps. They're common along the rivers and lakes in this area. This guy's awesome. What's really neat about osprey is that, unlike other raptors, their diet consists mainly of fish and the males do most of the hunting, while the females stay at the nest and watch over their young. And catching fish can be quite dramatic, as they can dive into waters from heights of up to 40 meters. And since osprey are at the top of the aquatic food web, they can be regarded as an indicator of the health and productivity of an ecosystem. Of course, there's ways we can protect and improve the North Saugeen River watershed and the creatures that live here. Like we can expand forest cover by planting more trees and dormant fields, areas too wet for agriculture or retired farmland. By doing this, we would help maintain forest conditions and also increase habitat and species diversity. Another thing we could do is just allow the low-lying and wet areas to naturalize. Allowing these areas to regenerate would help improve the wetland naturally.